The world is facing a population crisis, but it's not what you think. No, we're not talking about overpopulation. We're talking about people having fewer kids than ever before. And this isn't some one-off trend. It's an economic cycle that has played out time and time again. Raising a child is expensive. Housing, education, health care, it all adds up. In the U.S., the cost of raising a child to age 18 is estimated at over $300,000. In cities like Tokyo and Seoul, high rent and long working hours make parenting an overwhelming challenge. And in many parts of the world, wages haven't kept pace with living costs. So, what do people do? They adapt. They have fewer kids, or none at all. This isn't just happening in one country. It's happening almost everywhere that living costs have skyrocketed. South Korea? Birth rates are so low the government is paying people to have kids, yet fertility rates dropped to a record 0.72 in 2023. Japan? More adult diapers are sold than baby diapers. Even China, after decades of controlling births, now desperately wants more children. But birth rates still hit their lowest in history last year. But here's the thing. This isn't new. Throughout history, when costs of living rise, birth rates fall. In the 1930s, Great Depression, U.S. birth rates plummeted, only to rebound post i 2 i 2 e with the baby boom. In the 1970s and 1980s, Japan saw a dip in births due to economic stagnation, followed by government incentives to boost population. Then something happens. The demand for labor increases, wages go up, and eventually the cost of living stabilizes. It's basic supply and demand. Fewer workers mean businesses must pay more to attract employees. Higher wages improve affordability. And then, guess what? People start having more kids again. It's a cycle. So why do business leaders care so much? Simple. Fewer people means slower economic growth. Fewer consumers, fewer workers, less demand, lower GDP. According to IMF projections, Japan's economy could shrink by nearly 25% by 2050 if birth rates don't improve. A shrinking workforce means companies struggle to expand, real estate markets cool down, and economic power shifts. In Germany, for example, companies are already struggling with a labor shortage, forcing them to look to automation or migration to fill gaps. That's why you're hearing so much noise about birth rates from economists, politicians, and business leaders. They need people to keep the machine running. But should you care? Here's the truth. The average person doesn't need to obsess over macroeconomic trends. You don't have to have kids just because someone says the economy needs it. The best choice is the one that works for you. Whether that means having a big family, a small one, or none at all, it's about making decisions that fit your life, your goals, and your happiness. Governments and businesses will adjust. The economy will shift. In fact, some argue that lower populations could mean better resource distribution, reduced pollution, and even higher wages per worker. But at the end of the day, your life is yours to live. So focus on what matters to you, not what the charts say. What do you think? Are declining birth rates a crisis or just another phase in economic history? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights.